From Swiss Watch Expo. Spotlight on. The Rolex Oyster Quartz. 5 things to know about Rolex's quartz timepiece. Rolex is world famous for its precise and reliable mechanical movements. But at one point in time, they also became part of the quartz craze. During the well-documented quartz crisis of the 1970s, less expensive but more precise quartz watches from Japan and the United States threatened the Swiss watchmaking industry. Rolex, despite their hesitation, joined other watch brands in launching their own quartz watches. And the Rolex Oyster Quartz was born. Here are five important facts about it. It took over five years for Rolex to develop their own quartz movement. As quartz watches took over the market in the early 70s, Rolex and other major Swiss watch players formed Center Electronique Curlige, or CEH. CEH's mission was to form a quartz movement that can rival the competition. The group eventually came up with the Beta 21 movement, which made way for Rolex's prototype quartz watch, the Reference 5100 Beta 21. While it was commercially successful, it presented a few problems for Rolex. First, it was too large to be fitted in the famed Oyster case. Second, the movement was also being used by its direct rivals' watches. Rolex withdrew from CEH and developed their own quartz movement instead. In 1977, after five years of conceptualization, design and testing, the brand introduced the Rolex Oyster Quartz. With 11 joules and a 32 kHz oscillator, the new, in-house quartz movements became a standard for others to follow. The Oyster Quartz was produced within two iconic families in the Rolex portfolio, the Date Just and the Day Date. Each model had its own quartz movement. The Rolex Oyster Quartz Date 8 had caliber 5055, and as the premier family of the brand, was offered only in yellow gold or white gold. The Rolex Oyster Quartz Date Just ran on caliber 5035 and had more variety in metals. It was available in full stainless steel and Rolser or stainless steel with yellow or white gold. The Oyster Quartz also has a design that is very reminiscent of its time. A little known fact about the Rolex Oyster Quartz is that its design was based on Rolex Reference 5100 Beta 21. The watch was designed by Gerald Genta, the designer responsible for the iconic Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. The design is archetypally 70s, with flat and angular surfaces, and an integrated, three-link bracelet. Rolex made sure that the Oyster Quartz still stood out within the Date Just and Day Date ranges. Although the Rolex Oyster Quartz was produced from 1977 to 2001, only 25,000 pieces were produced. A very low number in the realm of Rolex manufacturing. This makes the Oyster Quartz a less common Rolex watch, and one that is increasingly sought after among collectors today. While Rolex watches with mechanical movements will always be more popular and coveted, the Oyster Quartz represents a significant period during Rolex's history and in the Swiss watch industry as a whole.
even if the so-called quartz crisis was a dark period for Swiss watchmakers, the Rolex Oyster Quartz showed Rolex's ability to not just adapt to trends, but to make it their own. Want to learn more? For the best and the latest in watches, head over to the Watch Club by Swiss Watch Expo. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.